Okay, so this will be a question, two questions actually from Mary Nixon. Mary Nixon asked two questions. Um, if Trump will actually pardon the people from the 1-6 invasion uh, that were in his rally and um, what's going to happen to Trump for suing uh, Tisha James? So those two questions, but first we do that. Let's take a couple of seconds. So Mary Nixon, thank you very, very much for asking that question. Oh, I'm informed, uh, doing this really badly the whole time and I'm here in a t-shirt. Okay, so let's see, that's better. Let's see what's gonna happen. So will Trump actually pardon the one six uh, insurrection people? Um, I, I don't think he's gonna have a chance to do that. I mean, cause that implies that he would be president or somehow have the power to do that. I'm just going to say, would he? Would he actually do it? Would Trump actually pardon those people if he got back into office? So this will be three cards for this. One, two, three. Okay. Would he actually pardon those people if he got back and had the power to do so? So oh, long-term planning, three of wands. Wands are actions, plans, motions toward the future. And uh, the three of wands is absolutely long-term planning, looking into the future. Uh, the second card up, then, up. Oh, secrets being revealed. There you go. That's the, the lies. Uh, that's uh, everything revealed about these people. And then the final card, yep, as the hierophant, as the government, he would certainly uh, do whatever's within his power. Wow, very appropriate cards and very shocking to get them like that. So would would he uh, pardon those people if he, if he had the opportunity? Yeah, he, he looking into the future, he's thinking about that. Uh, the secrets being revealed, that's all the lies, all the um, uh, who did this and who did that and, and who was really involved and who wasn't really involved. And how, yeah, yeah. And then with the last card being the government, yeah, he would be the government in order to do that. And uh, so, yeah, he would do it, no doubt. So the... Last question, Mary Nixon asks, uh, what's going to happen to Trump uh, for suing Letitia James? What's going to happen to Trump for suing Letitia James? We'll do six cards. One, two, three, four, five. So what's going to happen to Trump for suing Letitia James? Let's see. Signifier card is um wow so this is the uh eight of swords of course swords are uh truth justice rules and law and that would have him trapped okay the challenge to that a uh, balance the two of pentacles pentacles is, is money or sometimes it's more often a value of some sort so two of pentacles uh, the challenge to this is uh, getting this weighed up appropriately um the base of this whole reading then is a six of swords um moving out of troubled water okay moving toward the truth more than towards uh, justice and a uh, calmer time. Huh. The uh, past of this reading, ah, it's, it's who he has been, the greedy merchant. Um, so, and uh, it also means there was hope uh, in the past. Uh, cups are emotions and compassion. Uh, so everything associated with that. This fellow is very happy to display all his golden trophies, uh, but that was in the past. This is where he's heading. Um, ah, and in the sky is the hermit, really cautioning us to be careful. Uh, look where we're going before we make a move, make a plan. Doesn't seem to be that's who he is. Well, I guess it is in a way. But then the final outcome of the whole thing is this Knight of uh, Pentacles, and uh, Pentacles being money, but really more often value of some sort. And this is a steadfast Knight here. So, um, yeah, that's how it looks for poor old Donald. You really make a big difference. Thank you.